What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, another special accessory review. Today I'm very excited to be checking out Stonemeyer Games Treasure Chest. This is from Stonemeyer Games. It was on Kickstarter and now it is a real product. And this is going to be an ex treasure chest full of various different components that you will use to upgrade your existing games, aka kind of pimp them out. What am I talking about? What do I think about it? Let's open it up, check it out, and I'll give you my opinions at the end. All right, and so let's take a look at what you're going to get instead of Stonemeyer Games Treasure Chest. So we take off the box, and you're going to see you're going to get six inserts in here with six different things. I believe there are 26 of each of these, so we'll go over all six of them. First, we are going to get these blue gems on here, which are nice and shiny. They're translucent, and they're... Uh, Pretty cool looking. So you're going to get the gems. Next you're going to get two kinds of rocks. I'm going to show them to you at the same time. I'm sure one's ore or stone or something like that. Uh, but this one definitely has a little bit more heft to it than this one, whereas this one's a little bit more round. This one looks more like a pebble and this one looks more like a, I don't know, like a, an ore or a metal or something like that. Uh, next you're going to get your bricks up here, which are going to have little brick things in there. So they look really cool. They look like bricks, uh, needless to say. You're going to have your wood, which I'll try and zoom in as close as I can, but you can see there's actually grains on there like there would be in an actual wood, so uh, that's pretty neat. And last but not least, you're going to get your gold bars, which have a lot of heft to them. I mean, these are these are legit metal, and they are, uh, they're pretty heavy. Like, if you were holding all of these in your hand at one time, like, you could throw this at somebody and really lay a hurt on them. Uh, so that is what you're going to be getting inside of Stonemeyer Games Treasure Chest. Alrighty then, Stonemeyer Games Treasure Chest from Stonemeyer Games. One of my final thoughts, let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. Before we do that though, I want to go over all the six different things in here and give you my thoughts on them. So first and foremost, we got the trees. I like them, they're perfectly serviceable. Wood is in tons and tons of games, so this will be easy to plunk into a game and instantly make it look cooler. I wish that the uh, little lines in the trees were a little bit more engraved to give it more of a tree-iness, if that makes any sense. But needless to say, these are really neato. Uh, next, you got the bricks. Once again, I like these a lot. They look like bricks. They got the three holes in them. They're perfectly serviceable. I wish they were a little bit heavier, but that's not a qualm at all. I also like the fact that they're easily stackable. So uh, when you're playing a game, you just kind of be playing like with the bricks when it's not your turn. And then when someone's not paying attention, you can kind of knock over their bricks. That might just be because I'm a jerk. Uh, moving on, we have the pebbles, which are... Well, they look like pebbles. They're rocks. And I wish they were a little bit heavier. Uh, that's a that's something that you might notice here. I wish they were a little bit heavier, but they're perfectly serviceable little rocks. And if your game has rocks, well, this will, you know, be a lot cooler than a gray cube. Next, we have the metal, which is probably my second or third favorite in here because, well, because they're actually made of metal. They're heavy, and they have a nice little weight to them, and they look really, really cool. They look like slabs of metal. Uh, the last, we get to the one that I was least impressed with, and that are uh, those are the gems. Now, these are not bad gems by any stretch of the imagination. It's just when I opened this, I was like, whoa, new, cool, shiny, awesome. Then I got to the gems, and I was like, oh, these are the gems from Dig Down Dwarf, uh, which is another game that we played uh, recently, about a month or two ago, that have tons of different colors of gems in them, and these look nearly identical. So everything else was just new and shiny, and that was just kind of like, oh, there's those nice gems. But the gems are perfectly fine. There's gems in tons of games, so these will be easy to plug into a game. Uh, but I do wish they were a little bit heavier once again. Moving on to the star of the show, though, that are those are the gold bars. The gold bars are awesome. They are incredible. They are heavy. They are gold. They look like a gold bar would look like in like a James Bond movie where they're in Fort Knox or whatever. You know, if you took a big handful of these and threw them at somebody, you could really hurt them. Uh, they're just fantastic gold bars. And for games that have gold bars, you're like spending them. You should be like, yeah, take my gold, whatever. Uh, very thematic. I like the gold bars a lot. They're my favorite thing in here. So let's get to the pros. Let's go to the cons. I got two major cons on this. Uh, the first major con is if you don't have too many games, this one might not be for you. This is definitely for someone who has a lot of games, I feel like. Like, this is, you know, because this is comparably priced to going out and just buying a game. Like, you could probably get either this or Machi Core on Amazon for about roughly the same price, I'd be willing to bet. So if you don't have too many games, might not be for you because you can just go out and buy a game. However, if you do have a lot of games, this one might be for you, but I'll get to that in the pros. The other con I have of this is there's 26 of everything in here. Now, for a lot of games, that will be perfectly fine. That will that will 
give you all you need. But for some games, you're going to be like, oh man, I'd really like to place those gold bars with the money or something like that, and you won't have enough, which means, well, you either have to not do that, do some half and half sort of thing, or buy two copies of it. So that's a really small myth thing. Moving on to the pros, Stonemaier Games Treasure Chest is really freaking cool and we couldn't tell. It's just an awesome idea. It's one of those ideas, like when I first saw it, I was like, really? Why hasn't anybody thought of that before? It's just such an obvious idea when you put these in your game, especially if you can put more than one, it just makes the game look cooler. It does. It just adds that little bit of oomph to the theme, which I, you know, I love theme, and when you can add anything to theme, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, some of these are going into my game at Kingsburg, I got some going into this, some going into that. I pretty much have already decided what all six of these are going to go into my various different games. Uh, and, and they, when I, when I busted them out, they just, people were like, oh, that's cool, where'd you get that, what's that? I mean, they're a good conversation starter, granted, the game should be doing that itself. Um, components are nice, as I mentioned, I wish some of them were a little bit heavier, but other than that, I'm, I'm not a broken or shattered or anything like that, they're very, very cool. So, my overall thoughts, Stonemaier Games Treasure Chest. If you are in the market for something like this, if you'd like to upgrade your games, or if you're looking to upgrade your games, look no further, because this is really cool. Now, the last pro that I do want to talk about, and I do want to warn you people with headphones, because it might be a little bit loud, is that you can do this. Which is my favorite thing, because you shook it up, and you're like, oh my gosh, why did you shake it up? It's all mixed up. I'm like, no. They made the box insert perfectly right, so that everything stays in place. So that's just a big thumbs up for Stonemaier Games. Overall, Stonemaier Games Treasure Chest, very, very cool if you are in the market for this sort of thing. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. And in the comments below, let me know what is a gaming accessory that you have upgraded in your collection, or why do you not upgrade games in your collection? I personally have never done anything. I've sleeved a couple cards here and there, but honestly, after getting this treasure chest, I was like, hey, maybe I might, you know, check out this, or check out that, see if I can upgrade this or that, because I have a lot of games that I get rid of because they're not good, and some of them have really good components. I'd be like, man, I could take this out of this and put it into that, make kind of a really cool Frankenstein game. So let me know in the comments below, if you upgrade, what's your coolest upgrade that you got, or what have you upgraded? And if you don't upgrade, why don't you upgrade? Not judging. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Stonemeyer Games Treasure Chest. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.